Now what we're going to do is examine the properties of a capacitor. This is a, a simple parallel plate capacitor. I can adjust the distance between the plates and I can insert dielectric materials between them. What I have here is a Van de Graaff generator which I'm going to use as a high voltage source to charge up my parallel plate capacitor. Connected in parallel with my parallel plate capacitor is my high voltage voltmeter. It's, just, it's essentially, uh, essentially a, an electroscope with graduations on it so you can, you can uh, get a quantitative output. Alright, so I'll start off with the plates of the capacitor close together. Now you'll remember, I hope, that capacitance is defined as the charge carried on the plates divided by the voltage between them. Okay, so the bigger the capacitance, the bigger the charge that you can store on those plates for a given voltage. Alternatively, the bigger the capacitance, the smaller that the voltage needs to be in order to maintain a given charge. So we're going to examine that particular behaviour here. Uh, now, let's charge up the capacitor now. You'll notice that the needle on the electroscope is going up, which means that the voltage on the between the two plates of the capacitor is increasing. I'm putting charge in. Remember that uh, if I take that formula, capacitance times voltage equals the charge stored. So if I increase the charge on the capacitor, the voltage has to go up as well. So there you are, you see that's going up. Let's stop there. Now what I'm going to do is see what happens to the capacitance of this capacitor when I increase the distance between the plates. Now let's have a look at the, the voltage. Okay. As I increase the distance between the plates, you see the voltage goes up. And if I decrease the distance between the plates, you'll see the voltage goes back down. All right, so what's happening to the capacitance? Let's, let's remember the formula. So capacitance equals charge divided by voltage. Now I've charged the capacitor up. As long as I don't discharge it, the charge stays constant. So therefore when I change, if the voltage is changing, it means the capacitance is changing. So Capacitance equals charge divided by voltage. If the voltage goes up, it means capacitance is decreasing. So as I, when the plates are far apart, I've got a high voltage. When the plates are closer together, I've got a low voltage. So in other words, when the plates are close together, I have a large capacitance. When the plates are far apart, I have a small capacitance. Okay, another thing that I can do to change the capacitance is to put a dielectric, an insulating material between the plates. Let's see what the effect of that is. What I'm going to do is charge that up again. It's discharged slightly because when you work with high voltages, even the smallest speck of dust can conduct away the charge. Alright, so I've got that up at a high voltage. That's probably roughly 20,000 volts. Alright, so look at the voltage. Look what happens to the voltage when I insert a dielectric between the plates. Okay, the voltage is going down. Remember, capacitance equals charge divided by voltage. Charge is fixed. Therefore, if the voltage goes down, that means the capacitance went up. So inserting a dielectric an insulator between the plates increases the capacitance. And if I want to discharge that, I could use this special earthed ball, or I could stick my finger on it and cause myself some pain. Ah! Thank you.